Hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be talking about a Windows box from CyberSec Labs named Boats. This is a, a very easy box um, and we're going to walk through it right now. So first of all, you want to run Nmap. So Nmap for all ports, uh, do all scans, make it for both. And if we run that, we see that port 80 is open and a whole other bunch of ports. But we're going to take a look at port 80 first because that's most of the time the most interesting port to look at. So right off the bat, we're going to start with a GoBuster to uh, find hidden directories or directories that we didn't see. So we're going to supply it with a word list. I use, like to use user share word lists, dirbuster, big.txt. We're then going to say the URL is 172.31.14. And we're also going to supply it with a PHP extension. Now, why are we going to do that? If you looked at Nmap, it said it's an Apache server running PHP. So we are going to let that run. And in the meanwhile, while you have your recon, your automated recon running, you want to do some manual enumeration. So if we go to the website, we see that it has a bunch of information on boats. And just from quickly looking around here, in, in the bottom right corner, you can see the link that you're going to in Firefox. And we notice that, for example, these pages, uh, they all have a, a number. So we can, we can go through the pages this way, uh, but maybe you could go to page zero or page minus one, but it doesn't seem like any of that is possible. But that's just kind of stuff that I would look at uh, if I was doing this box for the first time. Uh, in the meanwhile, your script is always running and I'm going to skip ahead and say, well, this script is going to find the directory. Oh, it's going to find the PHP my admin directory. So if we, um, grab PHP my admin from this we'll see okay it's going to try it so it's going to find it and once you saw that that was a thing on the box you could go there and see what happens because most of the times PHP my admin actually has a um, has a password uh, but the developers of this website of this server left PHP my admin open which is a thing that you should not do because in PHP my admin you can access all the databases um, you can run SQL statements and from a quick Google PHP my admin to shell we notice that we can upload a shell and get a, an actual shell through PHP my admin so this is a blog post that's gonna walk through how that works and the most important part uh, is here. So we're going to select a PHP shell into an out file called backdoor.php. So let's see if we can run this and if that works here. So we're going to run that query. It didn't give us any errors, so maybe it worked. Let's take a look at backdoor.php. And uh, as you saw here, we supply it with a uh, we get the get parameter command and run that as a system command. And as you can see, we have access now. We have command execution right now. Now, who are we? We are currently already system, right? So we are the administrator, but obviously we want to get a good shell. We want to get a proper shell. So for that, I'm going to go back to my handy uh, methodology or, or sheet sheets that I always like to use, uh, Hectrix. This is a great uh, compilation of, of sheet sheets that uh, are really useful. And for example, they have a part on shells for Windows. So they have all of these kind of different kinds of shells. And for the purpose of this video, we are going to take a look at a certain util shell. Uh, for every video, I'll try to choose a different shell to use. So with certain util, we can download a uh, basic C4 exe decode it and execute it. Um, so it looks like this first part is going to download it from a web server, then it's going to decode it and execute it. And these are all separate command commands, so I think we can just download a reverse shell this way. Right, so that's what we're going to want to do next. But first of all, we obviously need to have a reverse shell that we can upload. So we're going to create that with Metasploit Venom we're going to supply it a payload. I'm going to say Windows, Matterpreter, and Reverse TCP. Now, if you would want to know this command, uh, there's obviously also a cheat sheet for that. 
right here that will also explain how to do these things, right? So next we want to supply an L host, a local host, and a local port, and then a file type exe. So let's do that. So we'll say L host equals my local IP, and then L port, and we'll say one, two, three, four. Then we're going to supply the file, which is going to be an exe, and we're going to put that in shell.exe. So that's going to create a, a, the, the reverse shell for us. Now, back to this command here, we want to supply our own IP here as well. Change this to shell.exe and save it as shell.exe. In the meanwhile, we have created our file. So if we do an ls, we can see that we have our shell.exe file here. Now we got to open up our web server. So we're going to do that with Python 3, not 4, not yet. Dash M for module, and we're going to say HTTP dot server on port 80. So now we start a HTTP server. Now, if we go to our local host, we can see, okay, we can access these directories and stuff in our HTTP server. And we can also do that through a different, uh, through this command. So this is going to download the file. So we run that. It takes a little while, but we can see here or not yet that it's going to work or that it's not going to work. And it says command completed successfully. And if we take a look in our shell here in our, in our um, terminal, we see that yes, it got shell.exe. So now this file is uploaded and we can run it, but obviously we need to catch our meta meta session. So for that, we're going to use metasploit and we're going to use exploit slash uh, multi slash handler. We can then show the options and set our L host to ton zero, which is the, the uh, interface uh, for my open VPN session here. We can set our L port to one, two, three, four. Uh, our payload has to be Windows Metapreter. Oh, reverse TCP. And we can run that. And what this is going to do, it's going to start listening on this uh, port for a Metapreter session. So we call our shell shell.exe. So if we run that, we will then notice that, oh, we got it back. It's opening a Metapreter session and we have the session. So now we can go into our, our shell by typing shell. And now we have a shell as system. So that was the boats box. Uh, it's an easy box, but I think it's definitely worth checking out because it kind of forces you to, to work with, um, with Windows shells, which I myself don't really find that easy. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you next time. Take care.